Hey guys, this is Min here. So let me show you something really cool. I have a tackle box here with a bunch of stuff, but if I want to see what's inside it, typically I just open up the box. But what if I can look inside the box without actually opening up the box? So how do I do that? So let me show you. Let me grab my phone and there's two ways to do that too. I can either scan my phone using scan the QR code and Look, inside the box, it is. That's what's inside the box. Or, let me close this out. I can use NFC tag and there it is. Once again, what's inside the box? Pretty cool, right? That's awesome, but not only just that. I can now, everything inside the box is now searchable. So I can actually go on the website and type breadboard, that's what's inside the box, and it will show up for breadboard. So how do I do that? Let me show you. So stay till the end and I will show you the whole process. Let's get started. So this process is actually quite easy. It's basically leveraging QR codes and NFC's ability to, to call a URI or URL. And we link this to Google Photos. So what's really simple is that instead of using Google Photos for a standard, you know, just sorting out different photos, we basically label each folder as a container. So for me, as I label a box 201 here, and I can label it as some 202, 203, whatever it is. And each box has its own folder on Google Photos. So once we go into that folder, we will see everything. Because Google Photo has a very good search functionality, I can actually go in there and type in a search for whatever it is, and it will search for the description, and it also search for the actual photo itself to find what objects I want. So let me build it from the beginning to the end and show you how it's done. I have another tackle box with a bunch of stuff inside. So I will now create a new box. So let me show you how to do that. First, we need to go to Google Photos and let's create a new album. So we go to library and create a new album and we'll label the album with a title. So I will call it BOX204. and done. Now we need to add some pictures to it. So let's go ahead and take some pictures of the content and make sure you turn off, make sure you turn off the uh, live photo and let's go through and take a picture of each box. And we can also go back into Google Photos and add direct descriptions to help the search even better. All right, once we have all this added in, uh, we can then, you may want to even take a picture of overall box itself to see what it looks like, okay? And let's go back to Google Photos and add this in there. 204, select photos, doom, doom, doom. Okay, add. Once it's added, we can actually click on share and we can share to, and we wanna create a link. Okay, create a link. Now we can copy that link, it's copied. And let me go to, I use a URL sharpener simply because the link is extremely long. So I wanna shorten the link and so the QR code will be smaller. So let's go to my URL sharpener. It could be any URL sharpener. And I'll do paste and let's do BX204 as my custom label. All right, URL is created. Now, the only thing I need to do is take care of this. And uh, let me turn it on. This is a $30 label printer that allows you to print QR codes. Pretty cool. And, okay. And I will open up my app. 
make ID app, and I want to create a new tab, other editor, continuous, okay. And let me use some previous, okay. Edit, let's do this, change it to 204. And I need to shoot to our code to 204 and print. Oh, hasn't connected yet. Not connected. Oh, there we go. It's connected now. Let's print. Print. There it is. And now I put this copy on to here and that's it. So, so if I open up my app and scan the code, there it is. Pretty easy, right? So I could do the same thing with my NFC tags. So the only thing I need to do is to open up my M NFC tools and I go to write and I'd say add a record URL and select what we want to do is edit select HTTP or HTTPS depending on our, our um, shortener, URL shortener. And I'll just type in the URL shortener here. Two oh four and okay, and then we do do a write, and we'll write this little thing here, and we are done. All right, so now we just have to put the stickers on, right? So I can go to my. There it is. There you go. That's all the stuff we see. And if I want to ever want to add anything to it, for example, I have one of these cables. The only thing I need to do is to first take a picture of it. Make sure to turn off the live photo, take a picture of it. Okay. And then we scan, we either scan using the QR code or using the uh, NFC tag. And then we simply add a photo. We add the last photo in there. There it is. We add it in there. There it is. So that's pretty cool, right? So there are a few caveats to this because the links, I believe, are public links that Google Photo are using. And that means it, even though it's pretty um, pretty long and pretty hard to guess, but it's still out there in public, so that all your stuff will be able to see by anybody if you use this method. So keep it a secret is very, very important. The second thing is, if you use your primary Google Photo account with this process, you will be filled with junk in your primary Google account. So what I would recommend you to do is actually create a secondary Google account to do this. So that way it won't fill up and this Google account is purely for your asset inventory. While I was editing the video, I realized that there are a few things I need to add to this video, including that fact that they are commercial products that use the same idea as what we described here. So if you don't want to do it yourself, you can actually purchase this fairly cheap. So the prices that I've researched ranges from uh, $8 for 40 QR code tags, and it comes with a pre-built software already, so you don't have to use Google Photos, to about $33 for 32 tags. So I will put all the different links below in my descriptions, and you can check it out. And, and I am not sponsored by any of these vendors. And if you want to see me test out any of these and make a comparison, let me know. I'm happy to check them out and review them for you and see how it is, if it's even worthwhile versus the uh, DIY version. So once again, I hope this was helpful. Oh, and by the way, January is Get Organized Month. 
So this is a great time to take advantage of this video and get organized. Again, if you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you find it really helpful, then please feel free to subscribe. All right, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye.